So, here we are, Core Bike Show in the UK. Kind of the first, uh, it's not all the big brands here, but enough interesting brands to always make it worth a visit. And it's kind of the first time we see a lot of products, particularly from UK brands, uh, in the marketplace. So, starting off with the Lancashire Lave Masters, although theoretically it might be in Yorkshire. I've just had an argument about that on uh, YouTube with someone. But anyway, it's Hope Technology. Flagship bike. In fact, the only bike currently, although uh, Alan says they are working on others, the 916. And big details on this are at the back end because we've got a UDH hanger. We've also gained an extra idle wheel in here which means that it reduces the uh, pedal kickback to almost zero, which means it's not likely to rip that rear mech off, which can be a problem with transmission because it's a much more fixed position. If you have too much chain growth in the system, it can actually uh, snap the rear mech or snap the chain. So it's got a new idler in there. Alan says it increases sensitivity of the bike, but it does increase drag slightly. But if you're not running a uh, T-type rear mech, you can actually do away with that idler. And if you haven't noticed, this is their new bronze anodized option. So obviously on this bike, you can have it all through the fixtures of fittings, but it'll also be available in stems, dropper levers, and brakes. Also coming in from Hope, we've got the new TR stem available in a load of lengths, starting at 35 by 35, or even a 31 by 32 mil. So super short, you can kind of almost as short as you get without actually bending the bar for Sensi style. So it isn't actually super light. It's a similar weight to the previous trail stem, but in a broader, stiffer uh, design that's uh, similar to the current gravity stem. Then you've got new breast fit 30 mil bearings. They used to use in be enduro bearings, but now they've had custom made Swiss bearings, uh, which means they can s fully sleeve the bottom bracket so uh, super high quality bearings but also are now a fully sealed system which is really really rare and uh, these are in 30 mil size so that's obviously compatible with hopes own cranks and also cranks like race face there you go here's the full suite of bronze not obviously uh, Seem to take some of the cash money market. And uh, that's going to, yeah, obviously. Pro 5. And floating rotors. Coming that new colour as well. And then we've got one more component to talk through. Which is the new carbon fibre crank. Sorry, thank you. So. Again, 30mm spindle, you've got the new BB there, but just like their frames, just like their handlebars, the composite sections are made fully in-house. And interestingly, they haven't got an alloy armature in there. There's just a very, very high density, and there's no, it's not the kind of polystyrene you can uh, put your thumbnail into. It's a very, very high density foam core. Uh, they specifically weigh out the beads before they mould it because this is an integral part of then moulding the carbon fibre and carbon fibre layer is then hand laid around, the, around that foam armature. So that acts as sort of dampener and as a, uh, it holds basically holds the two ends in place while they're manufacturing it. I hope you've actually invited me over to the factory uh, to see the cranks being made when they become available in April. And then it goes on to, uh, into the autoclave to get pressurized and baked comes out like that and then it's hand finished you can see there you've got the slight wave pattern to uh, take the crank inserts and then the pedal insert rather than that being bonded in which is always a problem on carbon cranks is basically you've got the inner section is pulled through into the crank by the uh, tightening of the pedals. So it's a, uh, it's a sandwich joint, essentially, rather than being a bond bonded joint. So if there are any issues uh, with the pedal thread, you thread it in wrong or anything like that, you could simply and easily replace it. I guess you, know, you could even uh, change the color of it if you decide to change the color scheme on the bike. But really, really excited for this crank. Just because Hope are on a real roll with making some really good, durable, really well thought out products at the moment. 
and I think that, that's uh, yeah, super excited to get on that come April.